Tonight, there are serious questions in the sports world about whether Major League Baseball can go on. Sunday, just minutes before the Miami Marlins were set to take on the Philadelphia Phillies, several Marlins players tested positive for COVID-19. Despite that, the game went on as scheduled in Philadelphia. And today, baseball has confirmed at least 14 members of the Marlins, including 11 players, have tested positive. The Marlins game tonight against the Orioles has been canceled along with the Phillies scheduled game against the Yankees. And joining us now is ESPN analyst Jessica Mendoza. Jessica, thanks so much for your time. Absolutely. So it was just last Thursday that we were, many of us, cautiously optimistic watching baseball return and hoping that it might provide some kind of diversion from this pandemic. So how are you feeling tonight? And should that game yesterday between the Marlins and Phillies have even taken place at all? It should not have. And, and to be honest, it was a wake up call. I was one of many. I mean, calling a game on opening day, being a part of everything throughout the weekend. I mean, that's what sports is supposed to do, right? Provide a distraction in a time that has really been incredibly unique. And in 2020, it was good to see baseball back on the field. But let's be real. We're in a pandemic. And there was a huge slap in the face, not only Sunday morning, but also this morning and being able to see how quickly that can change. But to answer your question, once there were four players that tested positive for the Miami Marlins, why they decided to take the field that day, which is now we're going to see the repercussions of that decision for the next few days. And as of right now, the MLB's 10 other games are going on as planned tonight. Dodgers pitcher David Price, who opted out of the shortened season, tweeted today, now we really get to see if MLB is going to put players' health first. Part of the reason I'm at home right now is because players' health wasn't being put first. I can see that hasn't changed. So, Jessica, what do you think has to change here? Well, first of all, I think the players union, the owners, the agreements, everything that we saw to lead up to this season has been not a great relationship. And I think that's what you're seeing with David Price's tweet. And I think a lot of the reasons why there's uh, 30 different locations we're seeing for these major league teams. The NBA has their bubble in one city. We see the NHL in one city in Toronto. And for Major League Baseball, I think the frustration is the fact that there are 30 different locations. Players are traveling. I, I know David Price, he opted out. He's on one end of the spectrum. Rob Manfred, when he comes to speak and react, I think all ears are going to be on him and how they react at this point. And you just mentioned it, you know, with the NBA. Let's take a look at a map of every baseball team's travel schedule. Of course, uh, if we were to show you an, a map of each NBA team's travel schedule, it would just have one dot in Orlando. Um, the NBA and WNBA so far have been very successful with its bubble strategy. What's working about the NBA and what they're doing? And does Major League Baseball need to take a step back and completely rethink the way it's trying to play the season? Yeah, I mean, I think the NBA has the advantage of the fact that they did get to play 80% of their season. And so they have such a limited amount of games left. And because of that, they can go to Orlando and have that bubble, which is what was talked about. I remember back on June 20th, Major League Baseball sat down with the Players Association and talked about having two or three locations instead of 30 would they where they would be able to play those games and it was shot down within days so this was a conversation that did come up just a month ago and i believe that if they were able to be able to at least get players to be within one spot because even this marlins organization let's remember they've been tested along the entire time they were one of 13 teams to have zero positive tests up until this point now they have 14 what's the difference they started to travel they left their bubble of Miami to go to Atlanta and play preseason exhibition games. Then they went from Atlanta to Philadelphia to play three more games. Within that time, we have seen them go from zero tests in a month to 14. That's not a coincidence. Yeah, so you're thinking that the travel there is the issue. So let's turn now to the NFL. Is there any hope for a season there? I mean, football has intense close contact. It would seem if baseball can't do this without COVID cases, Football may be a challenge. Talking to NFL players, Lindsay, I mean, that's exactly it. That's the reaction because up until this point, to be honest, that's what NFL players have been presented with is look at Major League Baseball. They've gotten to the starting line. Look at how they're handling this. I mean, there was less than 30 positive tests out of almost 30,000 tests. So you're talking about the percentages being at an all-time low and uh, very, very optimistic about how the season would go. And this is what the NFL was looking to now 
So many NFL players and the entire league is looking to this. I also put college football in that same category. I do believe that NFL will do everything they possibly can to maybe learn, do things differently. They also have the advantage of another month to be able to figure out what MLB is maybe doing wrong and how they can adjust. But if MLB can actually even get to a month from now, that will be a huge win because I don't see it happening right now. Jessica Mendoza, thanks so much for your time and insight. We appreciate it. Thanks, Lindsay. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.